My name is Alicia Bosher and I am a registered dietitian. It can be easy to make lasting changes to how you eat as long as you pick small, small changes. Without motivation, it's hard to, to make change. Hearing that I can really help people make changes is incredibly inspiring. The key is small changes. If you try to make huge changes, if you're somebody who eats fast food every day and says, I'm gonna become a vegan, um, that is gonna be hard. But if you say, I'm gonna pick one thing to change every month for the next six months, I have a lot more hope for that person, for the change that they're actually gonna make. To understand your relationship with food, I think you wanna start by asking yourself, what is my relationship with food? I've met many people who say, I eat when I'm hungry, I eat for energy. Perfect, done. I have a lot of people that say, I eat because I'm bored. I eat because I'm sad. I eat because I'm stressed. Um, we call that just emotional eating. But just saying I'm an emotional eater, I think you need to dig deeper than that. What are the emotions behind it? And then from there, you can start to come back to, let's view food as fuel and find other ways to cope with stress or sadness or boredom. Nutrition absolutely affects <laughs> mood, um, our mental state, our emotional state. I think it's different for every person, unfortunately. Our brains need energy, which is calories, to function. We all can identify with coming home from work or a busy day of running errands, and we don't have a plan. I've seen it in my own life. The weeks where I plan my meals, I come home and I'm much more relaxed about it. And even just on the drive home, I'm like, oh yeah, I have a plan. I feel more relaxed and that, um, that helps me plan out my whole day. Patients will ask, should I eat organic? Is it worth it? The latest study that came out said it's not nutritionally better. Personally, if I'm grocery shopping, I will do my best to buy organic. I'd much rather you eat non-organic conventional produce then none at all. So don't be intimidated by organic. I think whichever approach, diet approach you choose, what I would wanna look for is make sure it's not too restrictive. When you're making changes, you wanna ask yourself, could I do this for the rest of my life? Fiber I think is crucial to feeling good, to making you feel fuller longer. Protein and fiber both do that. As our society has become more overrun with processed foods, the fiber has gone down. Because the more we process food, the less fiber it has in it. The balance is key, focusing on fiber and protein, and then the healthy fats I think are essential. So that would be my best advice for a well-rounded diet. 